Well, I sailed across the seven seas to find treasures galore. That's where I discovered a grub sail, and now I want some more. A blue log is blue, blue log is blue. I need to sell my DVDs at Blue Logan's Loot, eBay! Welcome to another exciting episode of Blue Logan's Loot. My name is Jim and I'm a part-time reseller, selling at such platforms as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. So let me be your captain. On this reselling voyage to find the biggest treasures and loot that money can buy, and then sell it for a profit. So last week we went over to some garage sales, my wife and I, and uh, also to a place called Savers. Now I'm not sure if you have it in your states, but in Southern California that's a big one. They're as big as the Goodwill around here. Um, and so I'm going to show you that, but one of the other things that my biggest critic told me, my wife, was that I don't explain a lot when I, when I get an item. So I thought in this video I would, you know, she, I get an item and she says things like, I, I don't explain myself, so I, I watch the video, and this is what I do. I go, so you know, kind of like the teachers on the peanuts, you know, wah 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 wah. So I thought during this video, every time I found something or I need some explanation, I'll go back to me and show me explain why I bought it. How much money you can make that kind of thing hopefully I'm not mansplaining too much but um, let's get into the video you'll see it hopefully you'll enjoy it get some pointers and we'll go from there check it out Now the first thing I saw at our first garage sale were these uh, Camco boat winterizers. Um, there was about, I think there were six or seven of them, and I thought about getting them. They were selling them for $10 each, um, but the problem was I think it wasn't enough meat on the bone. Um, on eBay there was about three that sold, one sold for $47 and the highest sold for about $60, um, but it was free shipping, and the boxes are, were yay big. So. I didn't want to take a chance on it, um, even with getting seven and maybe making a profit, so um, I turned it down. We are now heading towards two garage sales. What is it? Do you it? have any more concert type or any kind of musician t shirts? No, I don't. What about these doctor? So you can see from those other two garage sales, there was a lot of clothes. Um, there were shoes I saw, there was a Betty Boot purse, there was shirts there. Um, we passed everything again. Uh, with my shoes right now, I got a lot of shoes. And I'm still trying to find places for everything. So I decided once again not to take a chance on the shoes. I think we have about 30 pairs of shoes right now. I want to make sure those sell on Poshmark or eBay, so on and so forth. The Betty Boop um, wasn't worth it. And um, I think I think my wife got two concert t-shirts, but I'm not sure on that part. But it'll probably show it after. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next grad sale. So we got Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson King of King Pop. Of Pop. Just, it's just a t-shirt. It's not like a concert yeah. or anything. I think it's actually his death date. Oh, ooh. And then... Um, <laughs> this is the one I like. It's, it's Lemmy. Let's see. All right, it's on a Gideon. Not vintage, but... That's Lemmy. still cool. Pretty neat, huh? Lemmy wants you. And there's one more. And some... Doc Martens. Doc Martens that could be cleaned up, but they look in amazing condition. Yeah, but I mean, they're always popular. Yeah. Doc Martens. And that's in white. That's kind of a nice one. Yeah. And their platform. Yeah. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Those Doc Martens shoes, um, they're always, always a good find. And even though they had a lot of stains, they didn't have the shoelaces, um, they were still those kind of combat boot versions and right now I have them on eBay and on Poshmark for $70 and 
and I have a lot of watchers on the e on eBay, and I got a lot of likes on the Poshmark. Um, and I don't know if you know about Poshmark, but when they may send a like, you can actually send them an offer on that as well. So I've been doing that a lot. So they haven't sold yet, but I'm sure they will soon. We also scored this Epilady. We sell these all the time. As three dollars, I think I could probably get. $40? About forty dollars. Yep. Goodbye. We are now going to about our fifth garage sale. Looks like there's some good little furniture there. We're gonna go check it out. So with the shoes, I decided not again to get those. Um, once again, I, I have too much stock right now. Um, the mobile dog bag looked interesting. Um, unfortunately, we have a cat, so we're not going to run around with our cat and, and do everything. But you know, um, for someone who had a dog, it, you know, it was a nice looking bag, and I'm sure it would have come in handy, especially in California, because you always see dogs at Home Depot and everywhere else around here. You know, it's it's the new th it's it's the new trend is is having the dog in the store. So. Okay. Um, so it's walking sticks, you know, poles, they're freedom of walking. $10 Bye. for all four. Yeah, I thought that was We are now going over to Huntington Beach to Savers. Haven't been here in a while. Normally we don't find a lot of stuff, but we're going to check it out. We're in the area. Why not? So in that one aisle, they had a lot of these plastic Star Wars piggy banks. Um, they were neat looking, um, but it was more that it wasn't the old Star Wars. You know, it had um, Darth Maul. It had some of the other Stormtrooper clones. And it just, there was no, basically there was no money to be made in there. Unless there was a bunch of coins, of course, in the piggy bank, but there wasn't. As for that Sleeping Beauty uh, porcelain figure... A lot of those are worth money. We found some in the past. I actually give them to my mom for her birthday every year. Um, she has a, a lot of them, but one time I found a Figaro, which is the cat from um, Pinocchio, and it was going for $100. And I think I ended up buying it for like maybe 2 $3. So um, I picked it up. It was $12.99 for the Sleeping Beauty, but unfortunately, um, you probably saw in the video that the hand was off. So it, she didn't have a hand. Um, I actually already had one for my mom, and I thought about maybe selling it online. But I think with twelve ninety nine, there just wasn't enough um, profit to be made. So far, we got this Mary Poppins snow globe. This is a surprise. We got this nativity cow. What are they called? Glow mold. Glow mold. Time twister for me. Nativity Cow Glow Mold. They actually go for $98 for shipping. And then these waters, they were each going for $36. And we got four of them. And I'm thinking of these groovy things because they're made in Germany and you can't go wrong with that modern throwback. Yeah, well. So you saw in that last part of the video all of the things that we bought over at the Savers. Um, the waters were surprising to me. The fact that there were these just basically these little filters inside these waters and they were going for about $36 each. But the biggest surprise for me was that cow. It was one of those glow mold cows, uh, nativity glow mold cows. And I know that glow molds can be very, very expensive, but this was, wasn't the biggest thing in the world. It's about maybe this big, yay high. Um, but I looked online and one sold on eBay for $96 for shipping the exact same one. And it didn't have the cover inside underneath it where the plug was, where the light bulb was. So I ended up putting it online right now for, I think it was $76 with shipping. Um, quite a bit of shipping. And I think there's already about five or six watchers on there. So look out, I guess, for Nativity Cow Glow Molds. I guess it's a big thing. 
Well, that should do it for today's video. Um, I'm getting better, you know, I'm trying to at least. I'm going to start explaining a little more when I'm actually at the garage sales. Um, I've been using my iPhone too. I think I'm going to start going to be using a GoPro, so I'm going to buy a good one pretty soon. And um, that way I can even show you the comps when I'm looking at my phone, that kind of thing. And plus my finger that's always like right here in every single one that I do, the videos, um, that'll probably go away. I hope it does. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, I'm going to be making a lot more to come. Um, the last video I did like an Education 101. I'm going to do a lot more of those as well and show you how my method of the madness works in this reselling world. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, um, please think about hitting that like button and also uh, subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Um, that way I can get you more videos, more education. And finally, any comments that you have below, like, uh, Jim, you do way too much explaining. I completely understand. So like I said, I think I'm on my 12th, 12th video, I think it is now. So hopefully things will get better. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. And anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. So to all my fellow resellers, happy hunting and have a good one. Cheers, my friends. It's supposed to turn better, but I think it needs some uh, WD-40. eBay!